Taylor Curet here with Tredavious White after LSU's 41-3 victory over Kentucky. Let's talk about that punt return. I mean, you've been feeling punts the whole year, but what was different about this one tonight? Uh, you know, Coach Peeva, though, you know, we, we did a great job of preparing, first of all. And, uh, you know, he, he caught a great, great game plan. Uh, he caught a great call on that on that particular play. And uh, we did a great job of blocking. And uh, Jamal Adams gave me a great block to scream your feet going over to the right side. And uh, that's just a lot of green grass. And I just wanted to go continue to go. Talk about Jamal Adams block a little bit. How, how have you seen that kid grow up so far this season? Uh, you know, it, it wasn't too much growing up he had needed to do. You know, from the jump when he first came in day one, he was ready to play college football. And, uh, and the coach, coaches did a great job of preparing him and uh, getting him into the playbook and learning everything. And now, you know, the sky's the limit for him. You know, he's one of the best players I've been around. That secondary seems so tight knit. You guys seem like a close group. Is that is that true? Oh yeah, you know because you know anytime you know you you perform that way, you know you you have a tight knit like we have. Uh, it, it, it comes from you know hanging together off the field and you know, getting away from football and just doing it's things that's not football related. And uh, we do a great job of doing it as a secondary, and I feel like it, it's playing dividends for us on the field. Yeah, you feel like being close knit group, you know, hanging out afterwards, that helps you communicate better and, and perform better out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, cause we become more comfortable with each other, and uh, you know, when things, when adversity hit, you know, we won't be too tough on each other, cause we know we just we just be around each other so much, so it's a big deal. I see a lot of guys out there yourself with the number 13 for Dwayne Thomas on your arm. But how important was that? I mean, you guys talk about doing that before the game. What what went into that? Uh, you know, ever since you know his injury, and uh, we we've been doing it, and uh, I feel like you know, uh, anytime you have a player of his caliber go out and uh, go down like that, you know, we, it's it's only right to for us to represent him well and on the field and uh, just play for him as a secondary. And uh, we we just been doing this so for so long, and I feel like you know, we going forward, we'll continue to do it for him. What does that mean to him? Have you has he said anything to you guys? Ah, uh, he he already know. You know, any, we we like brothers, and uh, anytime we one of our brothers down, we we love pick him up, and I feel like uh, we did a, we do a, we doing a great job of doing that because we text him all the time, and uh, we just always check on him. He come by fan work, fan room, and uh, he just come back and see how we doing, and uh, we always checking on him. So he's still one of us. Ole Miss next on the schedule. How do you guys carry your momentum over to uh, next week? Oh, uh, you know, you just get in the fan room and just, you know, see what we can do and uh, just take great coaching and, uh, you know, just do execute the game plan that the coach is given. And uh, I feel like we do that and communicate well. We'll we have a great all-in-all, no, sir. All right, Tredavious, 67-yard punt return. Kick-started you guys tonight. Thanks so much for being with us.